Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play Clock Tower, where we left off. We're at Helen in Jennifer's scenario. I should alliterate, we are playing as Helen in Jennifer's scenario, because we chose to go to the library. And I thought it would have been quick. Apparently not. Apparently you need to do all these other steps and hoops and loops and all that fun Edward. stuff. Edward. But we did see the death scene for this. We're going to evade this, of course. Now, if I remember correct, square is to evade... <laughs> Or panic button. We'll find out the hard way. There we go, it is square. Okay. Now we need to get away from Scissor Man. I don't know what I want to do here. I want to I wanna see if we can find a new evade point. Because we tried the sword. I don't think we get into that room anyways, because I believe it is locked. We've done the ladder. There's got to be some more evade points in this area that I haven't seen. Oh, oh, he magically teleported behind it. Oh my goodness, what a tease he is. All right, well, let's go in here then. Worst case scenario, we just kick him in the junk. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh, there was something here. Oh, oh, there we go. What is this? What is this? Scissor Man is apparently weak to lamps. Okay, now let's go find Edward. Let's see. By triggering that scene, will Edward appear down below? Will that little cheeky bastard now be down here? Oh my goodness, that little cheeky bastard. Oh my goodness, you have to trigger that scene. Ugh. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Okay. Be a good boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. <laughs> be a good boy, my ass. Okay, so we need to check on this thing. To be like, like, gasp. Event. Edward could fit through here. He is tiny. <sighs> so, let's go here. Now let's go downstairs. I can't believe you have to trigger that to get Edward up here. That that's just horse pickles. Horse poo, who horse pickles, whatever you want to call it is. That is cheap. That is dumb. No wonder Nolan's route is faster. <laughs> Police siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Of course they have. Now, can we can we get uh hello? What's with the camera angle? I guess we need to tackle this thing. Oh my god, double sirens. Oh my god, too much too much wah wah wahing right now. You wonder with these doors just unable to open and close like she has no way to open it from here the cops don't have a way to open this side. I wonder if Edward knows the door spell then and what makes you wonder if like Naha Asian can be used on other doors everything seems normal oh I don't remember I think the tools are on this side Nope, not this one. Maybe on this one? Try to remember where the tools were. 
Took me forever last time. Nothing useful. Okay, maybe this one here. There better be tools here. Oh my god, there is. Okay, good. Oh my god. I remember that stupid screwdriver took forever to find. Ugh. But yeah, I, I'm pretty confident. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get that screwdriver ready. Just, just kind of screw things in. We are now handy. You can call us. We can fix anything. We can fix this door. We can't fix Edward, though. Edward's long gone. Sorry, guys. That's one thing I can't fix. We can fix this vent. We can fix the bookshelf. Just, just poke Edward, it. Come out from there and come over here. I can fix this ladder. Can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. And that is that there. So yeah, now we go back downstairs. We we know what happens. God saves us because God is a badass. Like I said, Gots is my favorite character out of this entire game. As much as I like Jennifer, Gots, Gots deals it for me. He, he's just... He just rocks. Hey Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, all leads have come to a dead end. Scissor Man. So yeah, that is one of the endings. Which ending? Well, you guys should know. E ending. Because we did not go the way of the statue. We kind of did our own thing. And we faced with the consequences. So if you notice this ending, she's in her bedroom. She does die in her bedroom. It's interesting. It's her and El uh, Helen's. Let's go back. Uh, just a refresher. Let's check out E ending for Helen's. And it kind of connects to one another. It's really interesting. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, it was over. There was no way for us to escape from Scissor Man. Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, are you asleep already? <gasps> Jennifer! 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 Hold on! So yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how these two actually connect to one another. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just find it really interesting. So yeah, we got E ending. So we still got four more endings to go here. Let's continue, or actually data load. We want to load our save data, because we saved before we made the crucial, you know, part. Decision shenanigans. We got a little bit of beginning part to go through. It's not the end of the world. I'll go through it pretty quick, guys. So yeah, we we want to touch Nolan's butt here again. Just just get a, get our hands on that butt. And yeah, we're gonna send Nolan to Rick's mansion now.
All right, so, like I said, we're going to send him to go get the statue. Do you want to ask Nolan? Of course we do. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now, then. So now we're on the right track. We can find that statue and show Scissorman who's boss. So we get to talk to good old Rick. Oh, good old Rick. Poor Rick, too. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. And then, before the Barrow's family moved... Yes, that is what I have heard over 80 years ago. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissorman. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then there is a way of defeating Sister Man. Look, do you know where this castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere... There is. Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion? Yes, what wonderful times they were. Except for... Well, poor Rick can never catch a break. Rather than dying by his own dog, he dies by chandelier. Anywho. We need to evade Scissor Man. Let's let's just go over here. Let's let's see what we can find over here to evade Scissor Man with. Let's let's go into the laundry room. Now what can we do here? Well first we need to turn the lights on. There's a reason. Second. We go in here. Third, we take this itty bitty piece of wood if we can, or we can't. Oh, no, we are too slow, too slow, too slow, too slow. Well, I guess we panic and kick him in the junk or do something. And no one just punches him. So what now? What do we do here? That room did not work. Clearly, we didn't have enough time to do what I wanted to do. Is there anything in here we can use? Uh, actually, we should turn lights on because we can't see anything in here. Uh, is there anything we could do here? Does... Oh! We can just hide in the bathroom. I guess Scissorman is a truly petrified of bathrooms now. Let's explore while we're here. The shower. 
that that's fantastic. Thank you, Nolan. All right, so nothing here. I guess we're done in this area. Uh, oh, we didn't check up here. The bath towel is on the shelf. All right, I guess that's it. I guess we're done here. Now, we need to go to the laundry room. Regardless, the exit in this area is still the same. We need to get some soap. So let's go get some soap. And the soap is always going to be up here, no matter what. There's some detergent and other cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. You now have the powder soap. Fantastic. What else can we go in here? What else can we explore? Let's check this out. A chest. It's a fine looking chest. Too bad it isn't being used. A chest that is not used. It still looks fairly new. Let's check these boxes out. Box full of canned goods. All right, let's check out this box. What's in the box? There's some laundry inside. Okay, well, I guess we're done here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, we can interact with this. I don't think Scissorman is in here. Well, let's hope not. That'd be a very tight squeeze. Uh, I guess we'll leave now. We got a powdered soap, so we're one step closer closer to getting out of here. Let's get out of here now, unless we can turn the light on. No, we can't. So I guess we need to just run on out of here. Okay, so what can we do here? Well, we can look around, because we need to find the barrel's location, and we need to find the statue. There's a stone statue. I wonder what kind of statue it is. Uh, let's check out this. A solid heavy table. Alright, let's check out Rick. Rick's body is underneath. Oh, poor Rick. Well, let's check out this wine cabinet and the other one too. A full cocktail cabinet. Relax, relax. I'm not going to let him kill me. Clearly not. You will survive, Nolan. Many dishes of elegant design. Okay, well, let's go in the kitchen. And let's check out the stuff here as Nolan. So, let's get the light switch. No reaction to the switch. Well, fine then. Let's check everything out here. Just a trash can. Okay, what about this? China cupboard. All of the dishes are stacked neatly. Okay, what about this? And this, and that, and this. <laughs> everything here. A clean tablecloth on the table. Looks like a vase for flowers. Well, we know... Oh, let's check this out. It looks like one of Rick's paintings. His signature is at the bottom. Now, we know this mask comes alive. Let's deal with it right now. A wooden mask is on the wall. A souvenir made from Africa. Something is written on it. This, this is the location of the Barrow's castle. You now confirm the location of the Barrow's castle. Which is on a mask that was from Africa. Now we know what to do here. I'm curious, what happens if we don't do anything? We just let these this furniture just attack poor Nolan. What happens? Anything? Does anything happen? Or does he just keep dodging for all day? Huh. He must just keep dodging for all eternity. Oh, nope. <laughs> Death by chair. Death by chair. That was funny. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, well, let's get this part done with. Oh yes, I guess we need to throw it, don't we? I totally forgot we should throw it rather than hold it onto it. Alright, so now what? Well, we can look around. Oh, or we can't. Oh, let's hide in this hole. This man must have heard of our smashing success in the kitchen. Okay, so of course he's too lazy to open this. I understand. Holding a giant pair of scissors like that, it really makes it hard for you to do stuff. A small square pantry, it is almost bare. Okay, let's check in here. Let's go look in the kitchen. Some kind of cooking utensil. Nothing here that can be used as a weapon. A microwave oven. There is something inside wrapped in foil. Okay, can we interact with it again? Is it a potato? Is it brains? What is it? Apparently nothing. Nolan does not want to explore it. Ah! That makes me laugh all the time. Alright, let's check out this here. A well-kept kitchen counter. It is sure a lot different than mine. Garbage pail. Okay, so we're done in the kitchen. Let's get out of here. We know the location of the Barrow's Mansion. We just need to find the statue now. So, with all said and done, let's go upstairs. And you know what? We must have checked the door. See if we can get out of here that way. It will not open. Well, fine. Is he trying to lock me in? Of course. An umbrella stand. What else can we check out here? Oh, we can check out the painting. Let's do that before we head upstairs. I don't understand paintings. I don't think paintings understand you either, Nolan, since you said that. Okay, so, let's check out this room first. So, we were in here, of course, before with gods. Just a trash can. There's nothing useful in here. Okay, fine. Uh, let's check out the bed. A neatly made bed. He really was a man of steady habit. Indeed he was. A Bible. Apparently his god didn't protect him. An alarm clock. The alarm is set for 6 in the morning. Oh, that's like my alarm every day. So my, I, I wake up at 5.30. Let's open this closet here. There seems to be something inside. So he closes it. After, you know... He looks. Ugh. Click on it again. Hey, a small room. It looks like there's a statue about 30 centimeters tall. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. It feels cold. You now have the statue. That's all for this place. Alright, so statue was shoved in the closet. Guess Rick never wanted us to find it. He didn't want to ever deal with it. You know, he's just, he just wanted to hit it. 
hide it for good. So anyway, we, we still have to check out this one room here. Of course, this is going to be locked. Yeah. So let's go check out the other room. Hopefully, Scissor Man is not catching up on his Saturday morning cartoons like he normally does in this area. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. I understand, you know. Gotta keep catch up on your cartoons. So, how are we gonna evade Scissor Man? I, I know where we need to go. It's okay, guys. I got this. So, let's go in this here. Let's go into this lovely room. And let's hide in here. And that's that. That's how we hide from Scissor Man. Ah! Oh, oh no, Sizman will find me. Oh, that damn alarm. Oh my goodness. Actually, I've never dealt with the alarm before. This is new. Huh, what? I'm set for 6 a.m. Dun 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 dun. Spook Fetty. Spook Fetty, guys. All the Spook Fetty. Let's go back into that room. We need to explore it. We need to see if anything new and special is in there. Anything in here? Let's see if we can find some hints. A flower vase. Cut out new paper articles are on the table. They're all about yesterday's incidents. Just as I thought, he must have known something. About the scissor man. Has he ever thought that he may have cut that out for the other articles on the other side? You know, I'm just saying, there could have been some fresh, like, interesting article on the other side that just lined up perfectly with the scissor man one. A portrait. It looks famous. Let's check out the TV here. And the chair where we're at it. This is a really old TV. No remote control or anything. Oh, so it was the little knobs. Oh, those are old. Rather looking, a rather comfortable looking rocking chair. Okay, let's check out the picture here. The frame is protruding a bit from the wall. I wonder if there is something behind there. There's nothing here. Sad panda. And one last place. To go. What's this? A note is stuck between the pages. You have discovered hint number six. Fantastic. Let's get the heck out of here now. We got all the hints. So, let's go get out of here. Grab our soap and throw it at the dog. That whole usual shindig. Because we got the statue, we got the location, and we have the soap. I think we're pretty good. So, let's start running. So, let's click on this, get our soap ready, because that dog is still out there. That dog is still going to try to kill us. Outback Rick's dog is glaring the room. The dog looks mad with bared fangs, dripping foam, whatever. I wonder what's wrong with him. Well, it's the evil statue, of course. It's making things go a little wonky. So, as usual, we throw this at the dog and we run away. Here, take this. Alright, so we're gonna save here, cause we're on to, you know, the final bit of the game. So save here.
No one. I wonder if he found the statue all right. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Not now, but unfortunately in the next episode. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my Let's Play Clock Tower. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other Let's Plays as well. All that fun stuff. And with that, you guys have a good day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.